hello welcome everyone once again to my channel where we will be learning regarding the various tools that spring has provided to us well today's topic of discussion is definitely secure on the basis of security which is spring security well what is it it's, it's basically a, a highly powerful and customizable authentication and access control framework that's developed in java well just uh, to provide you the insight of how spring security works let's move on to uh, see how a particular user can access a Spring Boot application. An application is hosted and its uh, APIs are exposed on the basis of the URLs and a particular user can access uh, to those uh, URL, exposed URLs without any security. But security is an essential part of any application that we develop in enterprise level. So how Spring Security works is that it acts as a buffer or gateway between the user and the application and it provides the authentication, authorization identification of the user and as well as the authorization to whom they should be uh, providing access granting the access and to whom they should don't shouldn't be now let us quickly go on to the application that i have developed it's basically a simple um, security controller we would be going step by step gradually so first of all what we will be showing is uh, a basic security controller here let's uh, start the application we don't have to do much because Spring is providing you with the every facilities. Here in the build.gradle in the dependencies section, you can do this thing where we have just implementation of this org.spring framework to put Spring Boot Starter security that would be serving the functionality. Now coming on to the basic security controller, this is just a gate mapping. This is a simple ma uh, m uh, method where it's a return a uh, welcome simple authentication at a particular time when the user is hitting the url so let's start and see what this application has provided to us you can see in the log that there's a security password that's uh, been highlighted here so something different well addition with of the spring security so what is the different thing is that uh, this is the url and now when we are trying to reload this Wow, an application, a form has been incorporated here. So, what should be the default credential? The default credential is a user and the password is what uh, our console has stored. After providing the password, you would be able to see a fantastic message. Wow, welcome with the simple authentication and here is the timestamp that's highlighted here. This is all about a uh, basic spring security. It's a basic security controller. Okay. Now you can customize the username and the password with the help of two keywords simple here in the application dot properties. One is spring security username and spring security password. So let's check how our application how our application would be behaving in that case. So let me uncomment that one and rerun the application. The application has started and here you can uh, you can easily notice that uh, there is no provision of uh, password that's been thrown here you can simply see that our application is being hosted to the same port so let's see the magic over here once again well that for login form has come on once again but what we have done is our username and the password is sab and sab as you can see so let us put in here sab and let us put in here sab so while we are logging it well it's working so you can customize the authentication username and the password as well now let's uh, think about something a complicated one we are trying to authenticate identify that which particular user has to be provided granted this access say in an enterprise level organization an enterprise level application is there where different roles are granted to different individuals so in order to understand that particular flavor you have to uh, what i have done here is an authenticated security controller i have prepared this one where this here is an authsec and uh, here the same method is there i have used only just uh, a different type of uh, message that i have provided to understand it so here you would be requiring two one is the authentication config auth config 
uh, configuration security configuration and a custom authentication handler let's see what's these two classes are for here this one is extending a web security configure adapter web security configure adapter and let's commit this one enable web security these are the two tags this is an important tag which would be enabling the web security of our application and and here will be the method you can easily see here in the uh, in this section that here is our spring security application and here we have to take a class the authentication is basically done with the help of authentication manager so this uh, by uh, extending this web security configure ad configure adapter we would be configuring this overriding this configure method with by creation of an authentication manager build auth builder okay so fine come let's come back to the here come back to here here is the configure there are two configure methods one is we are overriding it while passing the http security and the other is the authentication manager this one is a very important method here as you can see that here auth with the help of this auth we are uh, passing in this uh, uh, in memory authentication with with user say admin admin and the roles that we are granting as an admin and with the user sap sap and and the role and responsibility as a user so he, and uh, here once again uh, you would be seeing uh, in this configure method the here authorization things is happening and with the form there would be a provision of form login and in case of an error we, what we are doing is that in failure handler here a custom authenticate failure handler is being invoked where we are returning a new class new object of custom authentication handler now what custom authentication handler is as you can see here it's an on authentication failure what and it would uh, basically trigger an event where uh, if this particular method would get invoked and here it would set the response as an unauthorized value http status along with it would be putting the timestamp at uh, but what particular time it got failed and here also the type of exception that would be thrown here and the same thing in the response in the output stream we would be printing it that what unauthorized access happened at this time so let's once again run the application quickly and meanwhile here let's open another tab where we would be trying to access this auth set message well, our application has started easily now let's come back here now here you would be seeing that both the controllers are available you can also access the basic security uh, mapping service as well as the authenticated one we will be trying to test the functionality of the authenticated one here so here let me refresh this page you will be seeing a login page over here now you have to let's uh, try to log in with the admin now here with the credential of sap sap it would be working but here let's try to do it with admin and admin to find out if it is working with that configure method in the authentication builder wow great welcome with the secure authentication at this time as we find found it quite easily now once again if we come back to the admin page we try to log in with a different random user with a random password let's see see unauthorized access at this timestamp great so it's doesn't it's not allowing any of the uh, extra user to get access of the application and our application is staying secured in that case we would be this is the uh, flavor of the basic uh, security and as well as the authentication purpose on uh, in one of the other video we would be discussing about how the authorization would be working in that case I hope you like it this time as well and you enjoyed it the link and the description of uh, the github repository link would be provided in the description section hope you enjoyed it keep learning and be happy thank you